Hey y'all, JS Creations are Sanity here, and that was a sneak peek of the project I'll be doing today. I've actually started this project months ago and just recently finished it. So this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I am just giving a background coat of black. I will let that semi dry. And then here I've got three, these are three ounce cups I think, and I'm just layering my colors into these cups and I'll be doing a flip cup. Now all of my colors and products and everything I will have listed in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Um, for my paints, I mix them with two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and just enough water to bring to consistency. Now the paints that I also mix in the Artist Loft Ready Mix paints, I go ahead and mix my regular paints with the two parts flow trial, one part paint, and the water. And then when I get that to the consistency I want, I will add in the Artist Loft ready mixed paints to my already mixed paints. And then I will, if I want the consistency different, then I'll just slowly add a little water at a time to get them to the, to the consistency that I want. So here, like I said, I'm just layering my colors into these little cups here, and I will do um, a flip cup. And none of these paints have any silicone in them at all. You will see cells start to pop up. I, very rarely do I use silicone. I get cells by just how um, I mix my paints, really. Um, and I've noticed that the longer that you leave your paints sit, then um, the more cells you will get. So like my bottles, I will mix up my bottles and I mean, they'll, I, I don't know if this is right or not, but I mean, they'll sit there for weeks, um, month, you know, before I use it all up. And that's what I say. The longer that it sits, the more cells I seem to get anyway. So I didn't have enough paint on here. As you can see, I just added a fourth cup. And now I'm just moving that around um, until I get something that I like. I know I don't want to cover the whole canvas. I want those corners to be a negative space. So I'm just kind of keeping that paint there in the middle. But I do want it fairly like even. So yeah, I'll just keep moving that around again until I get something that I like. I'll come in here with my torch and uh, pop any bubbles. And then I will leave that sit until it's completely dry before coming to the next, doing the next step. Hey y'all, I'm back. I'm going to add to this piece here that I did the other day. This is completely dry now. Um, I had this black sand. Um, I, I don't, I've had it for a while. But I thought that I would use it, I would put it in these black areas. Just to give this piece, I don't know, some texture, just some interest. So, with this black sand, I wanted it to sparkle a little bit. Um, so, I hope you can see this. I made a little mixture here. So, what I added in with my sand here was some of this crushed crystal um, mica pigment stuff. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. I've got that stuff all over the place. It's meant for resin, not for what I'm doing here. But we're gonna give it a go and see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't float all over the place when I'm trying to pour it out here. Cause 
it's already floating all over my room. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down some Mod Podge in the black areas here, sprinkle my sand on there, and then we'll let it dry and see what we got. Okay, y'all, real quick. I'm getting ready to go to disco ball. Ha! Huh? Okay, so that mica stuff, <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty stupid idea. I had that crap. That stuff's flying all over my room. So, what I did, I, I've already redone this side. But what I did, I knocked off what I could. So you can see a lot of the sand came off, but a lot of that mica is still on there. It's glued on there. Okay, so what I did, this is my redo side. I went through my glitter again, and I just went ahead and with some of that black sand, I just mixed up some, ooh, I just mixed up some of this chunky silver glitter and then some some of this extra fine black glitter and I mix those in with that sand and here is the redone side so I'm gonna do the same thing to this we'll let it dry and then we'll see how, where we're at, if I like that or not. So with this piece, I'm getting ready to paint the um, horn of resin on it. But before that, I used that Rust-Oleum clear gloss spray to, I, I sprayed the whole piece, but I really concentrated on that sand part because I wanted to seal that sand and glitter in so that when I do put this resin on, it doesn't float all over the piece. So by using that clear gloss spray, that just kind of helps prevent um, your glitter, the sand, anything from just floating wherever it wants to go. Kind of keeps it in place. So I just put um, some resin on here um, using my hand to make sure I've got good coverage on the whole piece, especially in those sand and glitter parts. Once I'm satisfied that everything is good and covered, I will come in here with my heat gun and torch. Um, my heat gun, I use it to heat up that resin, kind of get it leveled out. And then my torch I use to get any bubbles. Now your heat gun will get bubbles too. I just think the torch does a little better but to each their own. So, um, yeah, once, once I'm satisfied here, I will um, cover this, leave it set for 24 hours, and then this piece will be done. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And until next time, see ya.